after a tornado tore through the area Tuesday. We just break it out. The sound of a train coming through to be a tornado that hit that community. Another day for cleanup after the crazy storm line from Tuesday. Couldn't believe what a friend was telling her was going on. She saw a tornado or whatever. Well, we kind of laughed standing by the windows and they just shatter. Run through the glass and get to the basement. Right now at 40,000 outages, there was as many as 60,000 following the storms yesterday. They will not have school again dealing with debris pickup around some schools still don't have power. This is anything but normal. I've lived in West Virginia for all of my 19 years of existence, and I love it here. And one of the more unique things about our state is that we are not traditionally one to get incredibly severe weather. We do get a fair bit of weather because of our distinct location in the country. We can get things moving down from the Great Lakes, up from the south of the Gulf Coast, or the occasional thing up through Virginia. But things aren't typically that severe here. That's why I enjoy it whenever we get tornado warnings and the like, because those are not super common here. Granted, we can get them. Our most severe tornado that's impacted the state was an F4 in the 1940s in the small town of Shinston, West Virginia, near Clarksburg. The last place in this state you would expect to get a tornado. But yesterday was a whole different kind of setup. On Monday, the Storm Prediction Center mentioned that a moderate risk for Day 2 was going to be happening, along with some very concerning wording for the states of Alabama, Tennessee, Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, and West Virginia. Initially, the model suggested there would be two lines of storms, one moving through in the late morning hours around noon, one moving through later on in the evening. The second line, however, fizzled out by the time it got to us, and we didn't get basically anything from it other than a couple of SVRs, but that was it. Line number one was something else, though. Considering that moderate risks do not get issued very often in this part of the country, it was everything I expected it to be. I was discussing with a friend, and we agree, it's a whole different thing when you're hearing about this in states like Oklahoma, Arkansas, Kansas, states very far away from you. It's a completely different story when it's right at your doorstep. Storms started moving through at about 10 a.m. And Charleston, in particular, got hit at around 11.05 or 11.10 a.m. Me, my grandmother, and our dog were bunkered down in the closet. Ultimately, it just barely missed where I am. The worst damage that we got was a rotted tree fell outside and fell right where the car was parked just a couple hours before. We're still working to chop up that one tree, and there was more that fell, presumably, but... But at points, there were 60,000 people in Kanawha County alone without power. That number is currently, as of my recording this voiceover, about 40,000, but that's still a lot considering that's most of the people in the county. We did not lose power up until AEP decided to cut the lines so the technicians could work. What you're hearing here is our generator running. It's still running right now. We got the wind blowing a bit. It's running on a big old tank of propane. But it didn't even automatically kick, like it kicked on automatically but it did not connect its electricity to the house. Um, my aunt actually had to go out there at like 10.30 at night when they cut the lines and figure out it was giving her different error codes every time she would restart it and she ultimately found a breaker that had popped and she reset it. Turns out that if it didn't pop, we were going to use the natural gas we have here on the property, but it was not good enough to run the generator. And even after they installed a pump in series, it did not work. Because of this, the gas company disconnected the generator from the house and tried to run it without a load. It ran for 10 seconds and then sputtered out. So we got a big old tank of propane out there now and I guess when they put that in, 
they did not reconnect the generator to the house. But regardless, we're running on it now. We have been since last night, and we're making do. So we're thankful that we do have what we do have, though we have lost water pressure, but that sometimes just happens here during severe weather because the pump house might lose power or something. But there's some damage. There's some photos floating around online. You can look them up. Billboards were ripped off of their moorings on the side of the highway and snapped. Buildings had their roofs pulled off of them. A fire station in Huntington, I believe, collapsed from the winds. Wind gusts were around 90 miles per hour in Huntington. 60 in Charleston and around 80 whenever the storm hit Beckley. All right, next day, Xander here. Uh, I was gonna upload this last night, but the generator crept out around 11.30 p.m., and none of us know why. Uh, generator tech that came out around 10 a.m. this morning, fixed it, and it's currently 1.57 p.m., and we're back on commercial power. Um, but I'm interrupting here to say that um, Weather Service in Charleston did a preliminary storm damage assessment in Fayette County, West Virginia, last night. Um, and so far it appears as though we're seeing EF2 damage there with maximum winds of around 130 miles per hour. Um, but see, I just want to throw that in here that, uh, yeah, that happened. Uh, anyways, back to what was edited yesterday and meant to be uploaded yesterday. But yesterday was a chaotic day unlike anything I've seen since I've been in the community in 2018. This really reminded me of the... June 2012 derecho. Though granted, that was a very different kind of thing. The concern there wasn't even tornadoes, it was straight line wind damage. This was a tornadic event. But regardless, areas are damaged. Tornado is the word on the tip of everybody's tongues, and it will be for several days or weeks to come as people attempt to clean up the debris and recover from this situation. I was here at ground zero. I had my phone out. I was recording all the alerts that I could. It was chaos yesterday. So this compilation is audio only because number one, I don't have a decent video editing program anymore. And number two, I just felt like doing it this way. Plus, I mean, the alerts are audio themselves. So this is a little bit of a better form. A couple of these alerts might be out of chronological order, but, but honestly, with the way that I was recording them yesterday, it's hard to put them into a chronological order. Because I recorded some of them as video, and some of them as a couple of audio files that I would start and stop recording. That was mostly, the audio file mostly happened whenever I left my room and was there with my grandmother and whenever we decided to take shelter in the interior closet. But, regardless, I was here for the chaos, and this is your ticket in. Welcome to Kanaw Chaos. The Night Before That's not Caleb. Will you activate scanner? Thank you. 
Where's my blasted ham radio? See, that ain't sweet. See the index. Nope, nothing's getting relayed right now. So at this point RLX decided to do the funny and issue the tones for a flood watch, but played the wrong message and did not include EOM tones, meaning that stations would have to wait on their encoders to time out. That was supposed to be a secret thunderstorm watch and there was something else issued at the same time so there's no EOMs and it's going to wait on stations to time out for it they've done this once before oh good job RLX yeah you know what you're doing I'm gonna set. I wish I didn't have to go back to the I truly do. That's okay. By the way, uh, you're being heard in the video. I gotta speak this. Um, say how to go back to the collector. Oh, there's the Lajani. 
At around 12.40 a.m., WVRC Media decided to issue a required monthly test. I received a message from Fairfax County EAS on Discord stating that it was my time to shine, since my station, Earn KNA, could directly relay the monthly test from its origination point. However, my FM monitor wasn't plugged in correctly, so I did not, in fact, shine at that time. And so begins the day of chaos. The National Weather Service has issued tornado watch number 74, effective until 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. This watch includes the following counties in West Virginia. Boom. Um, what? The National Weather Service in Charleston, West Virginia, has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Boyd County in northeastern Kentucky, Lawrence County in northeastern Kentucky, and southeastern Kentucky, Kentucky, northeastern Kentucky, and southeastern 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 Kentucky, yeah, that's a good tornado watch. Lincoln County in western West Virginia. Western Lincoln County in central West Virginia. Wayne County in western West Virginia. Until 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Until 21 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Lake Vesuvius to Logville, moving east at 65 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour. Okay, love is running. Radar indicator. Intent. Expect damage to lose. Sighting. Kelsey is not relaying. RLX doesn't understand the concept of a proper FEAS relay.
underneath the stream. Other 
Important locations affected by these tornadic storms include Key Ridge, Burlington, Athalia, Crown City, South Point, Green Bottom, Spokestown, Waterloo, Axel, and Cape.
Okay, I can tell that's coming through urn. That's a shame. confusing video title. But yeah, that's the ultimate shame, receiving a local alert through Urn. Oh, 
while I'm capable of the damage being destroyed. The damage will lose windows if they will occur. My Ranger 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 Ranger
Was at this moment, shit started getting real. I just got a WEA for something. Or not, but we're under a tornado warning. I don't know if we're in the polygon or not. I don't know if we're at risk quite yet. But things are getting real. Who is calling me? One cousin was calling to let me know that tornado sirens were going off downtown. Said Ripley, Granny. But Granny, we're at least now. Lucas said the tornado sirens are going off downtown. French, but I try to not cuss near my family I'm scared, in spite Granny, of sounding I'm like a South Park character when alone or with friends, but this time it was warranted. They're west, they're talking right now. Jefferson, South Charleston, St. Paul, Denmark, Charleston, 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 Institute, Cross Lanes, and Allen Creek around 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight. And Allen Creek at 11. Charleston at 11.05. Charleston at 11.05. Other locations impacted by these tornadic storms include Cleveland. Do you hear me, Granny? Allen Creek, Allen Creek at 11, Charleston at 11.05. That's how quick these things are coming. Yeah. Granny? Yeah. You know I don't get scared easy. But this, this is bad, Granny. This is bad. <laughs> Turn on the monitors. Mm -hmm. you, and you, and you. sure she knows. Granny, never can be too sure. We have phone line. Granny, I'm a concerned nephew. I'm calling to make sure she's safe. 
We're under a tornado warning. Okay. It's supposed to hit Charleston at 11.05, so please, please be safe. Yeah. Well, TV's relaying something. Mason. That's how delayed direct TV stream is, and it's taken this long to relay that tornado warning. What are the other channels are relaying? So channel three is the station we're leaving this on. Love you, Granny. Uh -huh. Love you. Love you, Khalifa. Love you. We all gonna make it through. Hey, it's okay, boy. Why did you? This is Kilo Echo 8, Yankee, Quebec, Quebec. We are currently under a tornado warning. Repeat, currently under a tornado warning. Good to say. The National Weather Service in Charleston, West Virginia, has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Mingo County in southern West Virginia, southeastern Kana County in central West Virginia, southern Lincoln County in central West Virginia, northwestern Raleigh County in southeastern West Virginia, northern Logan County in southern West Virginia, southern Wayne County in western West Virginia, southwestern Fayette County in southeastern West Virginia, Boone County in central West Virginia, until 11.45 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Spurlockville to 8 miles east of Hull, moving east at 65 miles per hour. Hazard, 70 miles per hour wind gusts. So we got Source, some good strong winds and these storms, Granny. Yeah. Impact, expect considerable tree damage. Damage is likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Locations impacted include Madison, Fayetteville, Logan, Oak Hill, and San Diego. Smithers, Gully Bridge, Van, Powellton, Mount Gay Shamrock, Spurlock, I'm going to go on and plug those couple readers just to sign off. The ones that won't shut up. Julian, and Dando. This includes the following highways. West Virginia Turnpike between mile markers 52 and 79. Route 119 between mile markers 27 and 59. Route 19 between mile markers 13 and 27. National Weather Service in Charleston, West Virginia has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Mason County in western West Virginia, East Central Cabell County in Central West Virginia, Putnam County in Western Ow. West Virginia, Kanawha County in Central West Virginia, Northern Lincoln County in Central West Virginia. This is the tornado warning that we're still on the right here. 15 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Source radar indicated. The National Weather Service in Charleston, West Virginia, has issued a tornado warning for Calhoun County in North Central West Virginia, East Central Mississippi, West Virginia, 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 West Virginia
He's up Robert's way, but it's coming this way. I think. Knocking right on Robert's door, man. There's a dog. Here, okay. hey boy. I'm gonna keep you safe too. Excuse me, my boy. There's something going on up north. No. Okay. I closed it up last night because I didn't want, well, a couple nights ago they didn't want rain blowing through it. Again, Granny, it takes a lot to get me scared. Zero hours, five minutes, cause button. Crush you. Expanded the tornado watch a little bit. out as well. Hold on. Drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. All the radio stations around us are losing their power. Report severe weather to the National Weather Service by call or free. Maybe go back and check on that back door see if it's dead both locked. The back door or the laundry room door? Laundry room. I'll go check, Granny. Turn it on to talk to you. That's a setting off to turn on. Let's see what it says for now. Just a repeat of the tornado warning. 
Well, you can learn to fade it, I'm going to set it up to read to you at a slower speed. Torrential rainfall is occurring with these storms and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roads. Alright, so you're running them now. At least I hear it. Yeah, tornado warning for us. Granny. Uh, Bath tub time. Shorting out. We just tried to rain. National Weather Service, tornado warning. 7.76. Look at my leg.
Drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. The National Weather Service in Charleston, West Virginia. Gotta get your licks in, boy. They didn't sound like they might have cleared up a bit outside, but. But still, I mean, there's more coming. A severe squall line capable of producing both tornadoes and extensive straight line wind damage was located along a line extending from near Elizabeth to Kenna, moving east at 70 miles per hour. Desert, tornado, and source. Radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris. Until 11.45 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time for Southeastern Kenna, Northwestern Raleigh, Northern Logan, Southwestern Fayette, and Boone Counties. At 11.19 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 6 miles east of Julian to Chief Logan State, moving east at 60 miles per hour. Half 70 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Love you, boy. Take cover now. Love you, Dad. Love you. Well, like I said, like I was saying yesterday, this is gonna be a different kind of day. Yeah. And it's not every day, you know. You and I are bunkered down in the closet. Wouldn't have Donovan I don't think he did. Um, despite our. Mm. Hopefully he had his wits about him and stayed because I mean you know Zarya, the daycare they know what they're doing there. They're, they can keep her safe really better than he'll be able to because they're going to be in a good, well-built building. And Donovan would just get caught in his car. Yep. <sighs> I yeah. wonder about Lucas, because he knows that all he could drive to while they're getting blown off the road. I don't know how to turn off the air conditioner. Uh, well, because you said you slide the thing to the right, yeah, to the middle of it. Oh, I hear thunder. Oh, thunder only happens when it's raining. The National Weather Service in Charleston, West Virginia has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Central Mingo County in Southern West Virginia, West Central Raleigh County in Southeastern West Virginia, Northern Wyoming County in Southern West Virginia, Southern Logan County in Southern West Virginia, South Central Boone County in Central West Virginia until 12.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 11.25 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Logan to Chatteroy, moving east at 55 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar it was a text from my mother saying that they were taking shelter in the hallways of the hospital. Zero hours, 15 minutes, 15 seconds. Cancel, pause. Charleston, West Virginia has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Nicholas County in southeastern West Virginia. Southeastern Kana County in Central West Virginia, Northwestern Raleigh County in Southeastern West Virginia, Fayette County in Southeastern West Virginia, East Central Boone County in Central West Virginia, until 12.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Another tornado warning! 11.27 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Severe Another tornado warning! Tornadoes and extensive straight line wind damage were located along a line extending from 8 miles southwest of Marmot to near Madison to 8 miles west of Van. Moving at more mat. miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. 
Tree damage is likely. These dangerous storms will be near Montgomery, Nithers, Burnwell, and Powell turn around 11. What, Granny? I'm going to go get me a spoon of peanut butter. Okay. Okay, Granny. I think the cell, this current cell has passed us. Okay. It's at Marmet now. Isn't that east of us? Is it Marmet east of us? Yeah. Okay, so it's passed us by now, but there's gonna be more rounds. But so uh, um, let's roll out the closet now. You can hear the sirens out there. It, it's faint, but you can hear the sirens down in the valley. It's creepy. That's over a hundred miles away from here, and nobody lives there! Nicholas County in southeastern West Virginia. Gilmer County in north central West Virginia. If you know what Lewis it was referenced to, let me know in the comments. Braxton County in north central West Virginia. Northeastern Clay County in north central West Virginia. Northeastern Fayette County in southeastern West Virginia. Until 1 p.m. <laughs> Eastern Daylight Time. Call the At 11.44 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 9 miles north of Grantsville to 6 miles east of Arnosburg to 8 miles east of Clay County and Stead, moving in 65 miles per hour. Nicholas County has 70 miles per hour over County in North Central West Virginia. Radar indicated northern West Virginia impacts to expect considerable tree damage. Damage likely to mobile homes. Locations impacted include Elkins, Buckingham, Westfield, Silasville, Philippines, 
between mile markers 29 and 68. Route 33 between mile markers 1 and 35. There's to you, Deer Hunter 360. The storms which prompted the warning have moved out of the warned area. So far, the warning has been cancelled. A tornado watch remains in effect until 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for southeastern West Virginia. This is a flood watch for the following counties. West Virginia, Boone, Cattle, Clinton.
something. Okay, shut up. I wonder if that's this same one. I guess it's a front visor. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's not the one that's going to be last year. Thank you. 
seats was 26.1 feet. Bank was eight was 26.0 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood state plate this evening to a crest of 31.1 feet tomorrow morning. It will then fall below flood state plate tomorrow evening. Flood state is 29.0 feet. Flood is this crest compares to a previous crest of 31.2 feet on March 21st, 2020. Information can be found at weather. Note how excited I am for round two, then look at how long the rest of the video is. Round two, fight! Southwestern Nicholas County is southwest of West Virginia. 
Virginia, southeastern Cobb County in central West Virginia, southwestern Clay County in north central West Virginia, northern Fayette County in southeastern West Virginia, No, I was in the suck and 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 I was in this includes the following highways. West Virginia Turnpike. Route 19 between mile markers 18 and 35. I guess 945 is still off the air. Oh, this is not good. 
This ain't good at all. Here is the forecast for the greater Charleston area. The air. The what?
actually a room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Yeah, I know they're coming. My 991 is weep whooping. SVR on Channel 5. Oh, I can get this on 100.5. WKEE. -E. If I can get them. This is definitely in the tri state. Or 10 miles south of Waverly, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. Hazard 60 miles per hour in gusts and nickel size hail. Source radar indicated. Impact expect damage to roof, siding, and trees. Oh, and my sage has something. Jackson, Wilson, Oak Hill. That's what the sage has. Lake 
Hope State Park, Yayo, South Shore, Camden, Colton, Gillespie, Dickens, Will Kestel, Matthew, Triana, Radcliffe, Guysville, Petersburg, Hyannisville, and Salem Center. And that's all for this comp, but thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more. I've got another comp coming out soon of just a bunch of flood warnings of varying varieties. Nothing as insane as this, and this is my most insane comp ever. I know I keep saying that, but this is easily my most insane comp, and I don't know if I ever really want to top it. Other than maybe actually shooting with something with decent sound, I'm going to look into a different camera app so I can actually get decent sound. But thanks for watching.